Hello everyone, today we're exploring OneDrive, Microsoft's cloud backup system capability, and how to get it to work properly with the built-in file history of the Windows operating system. There seems to be a lot of confusion about the interoperability of Windows built-in file history backup capability and the OneDrive cloud backup system. Today we hope to clear some of that up. First, we discuss how OneDrive moves around the structure of your data folders. Then we demonstrate how to get the data onto the local machine off the cloud. Then we show you three methods to synchronize file history and OneDrive. Then some final recommendations. The video is timestamped, so you can skip around as desired. The thing to keep in mind is that OneDrive is going to move your videos and documents, pictures and desktop to the cloud. The previous file history as of that date is disconnected. So what that means is as you come in here and you go to your original user profile and videos, this is where your data was originally stored under the user profile. What happened is when OneDrive got installed on the system, it takes that and moves it all to the cloud but in addition to that, it rearranges the data on your local system and now it's managed under a OneDrive folder. So the videos, documents, etc., are managed under this OneDrive folder. What that means is when you call up file history and you go to restore your personal files on an external drive that you have hooked up to the Windows computer, and you go into those old folders, when file history updates, you'll see there is no data in there. The reason that happened is when you installed OneDrive and told it to back up your folders, it also decided it was going to rearrange your data. So today we're going to explore in this video, going back into the folders that are being managed by OneDrive, how can we get file history to work hand in hand with OneDrive and create a local copy of the files on our computer system. The first thing you are going to have to do is turn off files on demand with OneDrive and there's a couple ways to do that. One, you can right click on the folder that you are interested in having stored locally and there you can just click on always keep on this device. The second way is to go into the settings from the tray icon here, click on the settings gear, settings, and from there you can scroll down. And under advanced settings, you can say download all files, but that's going to download all the files to your computer and all the folders. So you may want to do it individually rather than have everything stored on the local computer. Let's say you want the best of both worlds. You want OneDrive to near real time be backing up your files to the cloud and you want file history to be keeping a record copy of those files. Is that possible? The short answer is yes. The longer answer is it's kind of convoluted. There is at least three ways to get that to happen. We'll walk through those so that you can understand how file history and OneDrive can somewhat work together. Here we have this test directory, file history test, and we have a backup directory and Google Voice. What I want to do is show you the path of that and you can see it's underneath the OneDrive management. I'm going to call up file history, restore personal files. And you can see we're under the file history test under the OneDrive management. And here we have this Google Voice folder, but we don't have the backup folder. What I want to do is drill through this and show you that indeed file history under Google Voice 2, is keeping a record of everything that's going on under that folder. Even though it is a managed OneDrive, you can see right here, it's a managed OneDrive folder. Every time something's being done in this directories or the subdirectories, file history was keeping a record of that. If we go back to the file history test folder, and we want file history to actively engage with data as it's being stored or changed, there's three ways to do that. First process we're going to do is come into here and we're going to go into this backup folder and I'm going to take this other folder, bank one backup, and I'm going to copy that. 
I'll go back to our folder here where it has Google Voice and I'm going to paste it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and show you that it's always keep on this device so it's not on demand. It's That's key. You have to have the data locally stored of course. Now what we want to do is go back into the file history application and we're going to run file history again. Okay now that file history is done running we can open and select uh, restore personal files. We can scroll down to the managed OneDrive video folder, go into the file history test, and there you can see that the bank only one folder is showing up. And you notice the backup folder is not showing up because this is a new entry, and then backup was run, the file history backup was run, it, it initialized and it showed up. Now, Another thing to keep in mind is until this is solid green and you run file backup, it may not show up down here in the file history. So we just showed you copy and paste how that would work with file history. We're now going to show you the third method to get file history to keep record copies of your files while being also managed by OneDrive. By default, anything being managed by OneDrive is not automatically being backed up by the file history. So what we're going to do is delete and restore. This is the folder that was not showing up under file history. Press delete. Call up the recycle bin. And there's the backup folder. We're going to right click and restore that folder. You can see it was restored. And even though it doesn't show that it's on the local machine, it is selected. So we're gonna go ahead and run the file history so we're running file history. It's done running file history. Let's restore the files. Go down here to videos, the file history test. And now you can see the backup folder is there. Backup folder here. So we have the data. So that was just a simple delete and restore. And even though it's showing the files are syncing, obviously they were on the local machine because we have a record copy of it. Showed you how to copy paste and then delete restore to get file history to start keeping a record of the files. The next method we're going to show you is to edit a file and then save it. So here you can see this one random number password text in this directory and down here this is the file history record of and it is not in there right now. So these three files are but this one is not. So what we're going to do is we're going to call up this file and we're going to just type in the word update and we're going to say file save. We're going to close it and we're going to right click and say always keep on this device. And then we're going to open the file and there we verify our change. So now that we've verified our change we're going to close out a file history Come back into file history and run that. Run it now. Files last copy. Whoops. Here we go. File history saving copies of your files. All right, so that's updated. So let's restore personal files. Come down to the OneDrive Manage Videos folder. Go into OSP. And we're under password generation. And sure enough, you can see that file right there. And the only thing we did was edit and save the edit. And there's your update. So that's the third way to get file history to recognize a file. If you make an edit to it, save that edit, and then make sure the file is stored locally. Our recommendations to get OneDrive and file history to work properly together is first step you want to do is make sure the files are stored locally on your local machine. Demonstrated three methods, copy, paste, delete, restore, and edit files to get those two to sync together. Understand that as you create new files and you run file history, they're automatically going to be in sync with OneDrive as long as they're on the local machine. Once the files are in sync with file history in OneDrive, you may want to consider moving the data to on-demand to save some space on the local machine, depending upon how critical the data is. And finally, if you directly edit a cloud file, it may not be in sync real time with the local machine. That's it for today's video on mastering file history and OneDrive backups. 
Before we go, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for tech tips to protect your digital life. Share your OneDrive experiences in the comments below. We're always happy to help. Have a great and wonderful automation day.